Ladies and gentlemen, my name is David Salee. I am part of the Oregon Jugglers Club. And today I have the proud privilege to present to you some very interesting and some impossible to verify facts about William Shakespeare. It turns out that young William Shakespeare had two passions in life. Not only his writing and his prose, but also something that is very dear to my heart. William Shakespeare was a juggler. Yes, young Billy Spear often would juggle, and he'd use the juggling as a way to help him out between plays. Yes, he was able to switch between plays a lot easier after working on the juggling. Juggling would help him clear his mind and allow him to focus on plot elements. Ideas used to come very slowly to him, but with juggling, ideas came so rapid he could hardly keep up. Yes, plots used to be very simple, but when he added his juggling, plots became incredibly complex. Yes, he was able to weave very interesting plots together and have very fascinating characters going around in very interesting circles. But eventually, William Shakespeare, AKA Billy Spear, Billy Spear, he had a choice to make. Does he pursue the struggling career of a writer or does he go with the more glamorous position of a juggler? Yes, it was clearly a case of to beanbag or not to beanbag. That was the question. A talent show allowed Billy Spear to explore his juggling talent. He decided he would enter, and so he would find out if he could make it as a juggler. So he practiced and practiced. He had amazing starts. He had very complicated tricks. He had tricks that were so complicated, so, so incredible that he knew that any audience watching would spontaneously burst into applause. <laughs> oh yes, he could hear it now. So the date of the show came and he packed up his stuff and he went to the show. He was pacing backstage waiting for his time to come out. And then the stage manager said, you're on. And he said, we'd like to introduce to you the talented juggling of Billy Spear. And so he came out and he stood and he saw the audience and something happened. His hands, they started to shake. Not so good if you're a juggler. So he was nervous, he didn't know what to do. And his arms, they started to shake. Now he was really in trouble. He got even more nervous and his whole body started shaking. He was out of control. He didn't know what to do. So he took his legs, he threw them down and ran off. He ran off the stage. He was unable to perform. And the stage manager saw him leave and said, boy, that boy got the shakes he does. And sadly, that moniker, that tag would follow him the rest of his life. And from then on, he was known as Billy Shakes Spear. Uh, so sad. However, we should not, we should not, you know, be concerned with Billy Shakespeare. After all, he did make a moderate success as a writer. However, he could never let go of his dream of being a juggler. In fact, everything he wrote was an homage to juggling, a tribute. William Shakespeare wrote everything in iambic pentameter. If we break those words down, we find their juggling tribute. Iambic means to manipulate. Pentameter is made of two parts, penta meaning five, and meter, which is which comes from meteor, which means small rocks that fall from sky. <laughs> so we put these together, and of course we have to manipulate five small rocks that fall from sky. <laughs> that is iambic pentameter. And that is also William Shakespeare's crowning achievement with juggling. Yes, 
he was able to keep five small rocks that fall from sky from hitting the ground all at the same time. So when you watch the play this evening and you hear the actors speaking in iambic pentameter, now you know where that came from <laughs> and what that's for. My name is Davis Lee and it has been my privilege to entertain you this evening.